All right, all right. Can you all hear me? Thank you, everybody, for your patience. Of course, the devil tried to show his behind today, but guess what? It's not going to stop the show because we are back. And as you can tell, I am so, so excited. I've got some new people joining me, friends and family, so I am super, super excited. So I hope that you all can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you see me? See, it's delayed. Can you all hear me? Can you all see me? Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got some shout outs that I've got to give. Welcome to Bubbles and Flames podcast. Rob, I appreciate you. Hey, Katie, thank you for dropping in. Marcus, I see you in the building. Hello, Rob. Hello, Courtney. Okay, and Penny's going to catch the replay. Okay, perfect. All right, so just act like I did my whole intro. Of course, you know, the devil tried to step in because I am super excited about this week. So I see that I lost some people, but you all know how we do. One monkey don't stop, no show. What's up, Court Court in the building? Katie. I will see you tomorrow. I am sure looking forward to it. All right, and Katie and Marcus know each other. And let me give a special shout out to my little audience that's watching. And that would be to Mr. Aiden and Mr. Noah, all the way from Houston, Texas. So I appreciate them being in the building and them staying up to watch me. And also, um, are you all seeing this on YouTube? Because my YouTube is not working, but as long as it's working for you, it works for me. So that's okay. I'll take that. All right. Over here on Instagram, checking in, I have got the fragrance nook and I have Pro pronto, sorry, uh, type sense also. And let's see what's going on over here in Instagram world. So you all know how it goes. Instagram is over here to my right. YouTube is over here to my left. Jayla in the building, the self-esteem queen herself. I am glad that she's back. And also Marilyn Wax Club just joined over on Instagram. Bear with me. What's up, Jayla? All right, so let me go ahead and before we kick it off, thank you to everybody who showed up last week. We have so, so many good things in store for you, but I promised you all something. I told you I was gonna do a giveaway, right? And me being me, of course, I changed my mind as usual. What I think I'm going to do, and this is the first time that she's gonna get to see her real one, is I'm going to do a giveaway on my Nubian Queen candle and can you all guess who this one was named after all right so this is the first time she's actually going to get to see her candle it's the real candle jayla this time not the tester so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do one as a giveaway all right so i'm going to post the giveaway and here's what the rules are you have to be subscribed i am short five people Five. I need 50 subscribers so I can go mobile because I've got some uh, events that I want to go to and take you all with me. So I need five subscribers before the end of the night. And you have to, number one, be subscribed to the YouTube channel. And also, if you could share this, because of course, I'm trying to grow the network because I shared with TikTok. I shared with Instagram on both Nuts About Candles and over on Bubbles and Flame podcast because people don't know I have two TikToks and I have IG for both of my businesses. But let me show you all what this candle looks like really quick and then we'll get on with what you all came for. All right, so I'm gonna show YouTube first this time, Instagram. So hopefully you all can see it. Can you see it? I know it's kind of hard. I'm gonna post a picture of this as well and hopefully you all can see it. All right, I'll try to pull it back a little bit. All right, and here you go, Instagram, because Instagram can see it actually a little bit better than YouTube. So this is what's going to be on the giveaway. And this particular candle is called Nubian Queen. And this is actually Jayla's candle because this was inspired by Jayla, the self-esteem queen. And what the fragrance smells like is kind of like uh, a pineapple, mango, 
with a little bit of patchouli in there. You all know I love my woodsy scents, but that is going to be what's going up on the giveaway. So I will post that. Thank you, Courtney. I will post that um, as soon uh, as I can get uh, the podcast over with. If you joined us last week, believe it or not, between Rob over at Dapper Guru Courtney from Love You Bunches Candle Co. and the one and the only, the Fragrance Nook. They shared almost 100 recipes. Can you believe that? Close to 100, somewhere around there. I think it's like 70 something. I have, between myself and Courtney, we have typed them all up and uh, we will share them with you. So this week, we are even more excited because we had a good time last week. So those will all be available. It's no charge for that. So I'm trying to figure out the best and the easiest way to get them out to everyone. All right. And I wanted to give a special shout out as well as a thank you to Courtney uh, because she has gone one step further than me. And she has put all of the suppliers with the scents all in one document. So we're trying to figure out the best way to get this information out to you all. All right. And thank you to the fragrance nook. She said she had a, a great and blessed time last week. And I did as well. I was super, super excited for today. So I hope that you all are as well. What we talked about last week, we started with Woodsy and Fruity Scents. And Jayla says, hello, everyone. She was actually out of town. And again, our uh, thoughts and prayers go out to Abba. Hopefully she will be able to show up tonight. But if not, she always catches us on the replay. All right. So what we're going to talk about tonight are going to be, and, and you all didn't even correct me on this. We're going to talk about floral. We're going to talk about smoky. And if we have time, we might even do some exotic blends. All right. So Rose says, create an email list of who wants the information to let them purchase a sample from the website in order to get on the mailing list. Hmm. That's a good idea. Oh my goodness. Look who is in the building. My key candle co welcome. Welcome my friend. So you must've got my message. All right. And over here on Instagram, all right, I still have the Fragrance Nook and Maryland Wax Club hanging out with me, and I appreciate it. And Courtney uh, said, great idea. All right, so we will work on that and get the information to everyone because it took several hours, believe it or not, uh, on Courtney's side and on my side to get everything typed up and also with the suppliers, all right? And we do have uh, one in the building. And while, as a matter of fact, while she's in the building, Mika, and I gotta look at you for this one. Mika, mm, I took the Enchanted Woman scent and it is a room spray. Girlfriend, you got something there. You got something there. I've been sending out samples of it. It's a grown woman. We are on some grown woman stuff. We're on some grown woman stuff. All right. So check out the scents that Mika has over at Maryland Wax Club as well. Yes, I'm going to be plugging the different suppliers because they work hard. So what are we going to start off with tonight? Let's go ahead and talk about florals first. Let me open my notes and let's do florals first. All right. So of course, over on the Instagram side, I have uh, several people. I have Rob. I have Courtney and over on, uh, I said Instagram, I'm sorry, that's on the YouTube side. And over on the Instagram side, I actually have the fragrance nook. And by the way, I will be uh, giving you all her information because remember last week she gave us a hint. Not only did she give us the bomb blends, but she has several hundred more and she does this for a living. So I will make sure that I share her information before we get off for the night. All right, that you all can get a lot of these blends directly from her that she shares. Now tonight, depending upon how far we get with the blends, I am prepared if we have to, to do a part three because we need to get into ratios, right? And I hope that you all, for those of you that need some blends right away for Mother's Day, I hope that you all bought a pen and a piece of paper. All right, so uh, I'm going to go first. And the first one that I have is actually called Floral 
bouquet. Again, I'm going to do the florals first, and I actually have the ratios broken down this time. Uh, I'll try to do as many as I can, and then we will start uh, sharing again with those that are in the building. All right. The first one that I have is floral bouquet, and it is 50% jasmine, 25% rose, and 25% lily of the valley. Again, that's floral bouquet, 50% jasmine, 25% rose, and 25% lily of the valley. All right. All right. So the next one that I have is gardenia. All right. And gardenia is really simple. Hang on one second. I'm going to do something to make it a little easier for myself here. And you know what? Because I started late, I actually owe you all an apology. I did not tell you for those that are just joining me or if you're new to me, who I am and why I host this show. So while I am pulling up my blends, uh, I will tell you who I am and why we meet here every week. Uh, my name is Tina. I am the owner and founder of Nuts About Candles. And what I specialize in are uh, non-traditional candles, meaning that they are glitter, botanical, and now marble candles, which I now sell on Amazon as well. So if you need a good Mother's Day gift, yes, I just did a cheap plug for myself. But uh, by all means, feel free to hit me up. If you are new to us, uh, welcome to Bubbles and Flames. We are a candle and soap making podcast primarily. However, we do welcome anybody that uh, just loves to hang out and have a good time. And actually, if you have a skincare business, a, a body butter business or what have you, you can use some of these same scents. And we talk to people from all different types of businesses. And like I said, you're more than welcome to pull up anytime. We do this every Wednesday night. Uh, typically from 8 to 9 Eastern, and sometimes we go over like we, we're probably going to do tonight with these uh, longer topics. All right, so that is me. I am her, and follow me on all social media, and like I said, we'll be doing a giveaway on this channel, so spread the word to your friends, and I need five more people if that's possible before we get off. All right, so let's keep going here. The first one I gave you was Floral Bouquet. The second one that I have is going to be Gardenia. Gardenia, 75%. Um, and Elang, I say that twice. I know I'm saying it wrong, so you can laugh at me because I know I'm saying it wrong. Um, so it's 75% Gardenia and 25% Elang. So it's Elang twice, as I say. So you'll hear me say that throughout the rest of the podcast. All right. And Jasmine. For my notes, you all can laugh for these next two. Jasmine and Lily of the Valley, they are what they are. Just Jasmine and Lily of the Valley. If you're a floral person, um, actually Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, and Rose, I definitely recommend that you keep those in your staple, um, your staples for blenders, because most people blend a lot, especially with Rose and Jasmine. All right, let me skip over here to YouTube real quick. So for those of you, oh, there's Abba. Abba, I gave you a shout out earlier. I'm glad that you were able to make it. All right, for those of you that are on Instagram, all the notes are gonna be over on YouTube. If you send me a message, I can add you to the Bubbles and Flames channel for anybody that's interested over on Instagram and that way you can get the link uh, to see all of the notes if you're interested in that. All right, so those are the first ones I have. I jump back over to look at the comments and see. All right, so Courtney has actually posted um, the suppliers to go with what I mentioned for blends, all right? So I'll keep going with the ones that I have. All right, the next one I have is Violet, Violet. All right, and it is comprised of 75% violet and 25% chamomile. All right, violet, 75% and 25% chamomile. All right, now, if you are a person who does room spray, so I know a lot of people are getting into room sprays, and if you're watching on the replay, you can use essential oil for room sprays. I wouldn't recommend you using essential oils and candles because some of them can be toxic. 
If you don't believe me, look it up. I'm not going to get into that tonight. All right. But if you do room sprays, it is fine for you to use essential oils. And speaking of which, here are more staples that you need to add to your collection. Um, Yinglang or Elang. Welcome, welcome. We just really got started. And I'm not sure how to pronounce the first part, but the last part is apothecary. Thank you for stopping through. All right. Um, Yinglang, Camille, Lavender, and I already mentioned Rose, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine. And I'll go ahead and add Gardenia to that because I see a lot of stuff um, that uh, requires, uh, I just lost my train of thought, that requires Gardenia in it as well. And Candle Science, shout out to them. They have a tuberose, if I said that wrong. Um, the fragrance nook will correct me in just a minute and, and or Courtney. Um, they have a tuberose gardenia, which smells kind of masculine. All right. All right, Lash Out with HR2. Welcome, welcome. All right, and also for your staples, lavender. All right, add that to your staple list. And I have one for, oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right. And Magnolia, 75% Magnolia and 25% Rose. 75% Magnolia and 25% Rose. All right. And let me jump over to YouTube really quick. All right. Courtney is still keeping up with me. And let me see, somebody was talking to me and asked me, okay, so key for gardenia, did you get it? All right, and while I wait on her to respond. All right, so let me jump back and keep going. All right, now this next one, <laughs> I actually thought it was funny when I saw it. Welcome, Viv Soaps. I appreciate you joining. All right, the next one, and this one's a funny name to me, called Narcissist. All right, I didn't know that that was an essential oil until I did my research for floral blends. How about that? Spelled N-A-R-C-I-S-S-U-S, N-A-R-C-I-S-S-U-S, -S -S -S, and it's 75% Narcissist and 25% Jasmine for that blend. All right, going to the next one, orchid. I love the smell of orchids. Who in here loves the smell of orchid? All right, and the fragrance, now thank you for having people come through. Most definitely appreciate it. All right, let's see about the next one. Orchid, 75% orchid and 25% Elank. So, oh, thanks for the hearts. So my ladies that have joined me over on Instagram, some of the stuff I pronounce wrong, so you all can laugh at me. And the Fragrance Nook over here on Instagram and Courtney over on YouTube, they correct me. I know I said it wrong, but it's okay. So you all can laugh at me too, because I want you to be entertained as well. And thanks for coming too. All right. The next one, Peach. So of course we know there's several different blends of peach. I live in Atlanta, so everything is peach tree, peach street, peach way, peach boulevard, right? But in this case, this is peach. So, and there's, this can be substituted for any peach that you like. Oh, you can laugh, you know, you, you know how it is, Fragrance Nook, you know how we do. I, I'm used to people laughing at me, I'm laughing at myself. All right, it is 75% peach, and this particular blend is 25% chamomile. 75% peach and 25% chamomile. So again, if you go on Candle Science, Nature's Garden, Midwest Fragrances, um, wow, um, Bulk Pocket there, they all have their version of peach. So just substitute your favorite version of peach for uh, this blend. All right, here is an old school one, but it's got a little twist on it. All right, this one's called Peppermint. It is 75% peppermint and 25% rosemary, all right? 
All right, let me check my comments while Courtney is catching up with me. And let me check my comments over here on YouTube. All right, we had a I love orchid. I saw it pop up. Okay, so you went, so Courtney went uh, for everybody that is on uh, Instagram. Courtney went with Midwest. All right, I love Midwest, Midwest fragrances too. All right, so I'm gonna jump back to my list. All right. These two are more staples um, if when you really get into blending, all right, that is rosemary and sandalwood. We talked a lot about sandalwood. So when we get the list out to you, you'll see all the sandalwood recipes. So last week we primarily talked about the woodsy, uh, woodsy family and fruity families for those of you that are just joining me. All right, the next one that I have is sweet pea. And that is 75% sweet pea and 25% violet. All right, so that was it for the basic florals. So now I have a couple blends. I, I don't wanna call them miscellaneous, but they fall in different categories because some of them are more of your fruity and fresh spa, um, food, woodsy, all right, so we'll get started with those. Let me take a, a quick look over here. Yes, Rob, I love Midwest too. And Rose said, I just started making soaps with sweet pea blended with other notes. And you all know how that is going to come out. Amazing. All right, and Courtney has caught up with me and she has actually given us a new supplier to us over here on this podcast, which is Wellington Fragrance. All right. All right. So let me get some feedback over on Instagram and on YouTube. What do you all think so far? You still with me? Am I going too fast? I'm trying to get in and give you all as many as I can. Like I said, again, if you go over to the YouTube channel, please give me a subscribe if you haven't while you're over there. Um, you will see all of the suppliers. All right. And Rose gave us a tip. She said that Wellington has some great BOGO sales. All right. And you said easy to follow so far. Okay, perfect. You know, I went into my trainer mode. All right. And Courtney also has Nature's Garden. So again, if you go over to the YouTube channel, you will see all of the notes over there. Also the ones for last week, she also has put all of the uh, suppliers in there as well. All right. And also, for those of you joining me for the first time, the very first time we started talking about scents where we broke down all the notes is on episode number eight. All right. All right. So I'll go back with the list that I have. And then the fun starts once the fragrance nook, Courtney, Rob, and everybody jump in because they have the bomb blends. All right. So the next one that I have, and again, this is going to be kind of miscellaneous from here on out, unless I say otherwise, is going to be fresh air. All right. And fresh air is for pretty much those who like clean scents would work in a spa collection. Also, um, it is 50 percent eucalyptus, 25 percent peppermint and 25 percent lemon. Again, that's fresh air. That would make an amazing room spray. 50 percent eucalyptus, 25 peppermint and 25 lemon. And that's percentages. The next one I have is Beach House. Oh, thank you, Mika. I appreciate that. All right. The next one is Beach House. 50% coconut, 25% sea salt, and 25% vanilla. Beach House, 50% coconut, 25% sea salt, and 25% vanilla. All right. Let me make sure Okay, so we have a comment over here on YouTube from Rose. She said, I can vouch for the Nature's Garden fragrance oil. It's fragrance oil, excuse me. It smells great out of the bottle and in soap. But she gives a, a, a notice here. It will cause your soaps to rice. All right, so for my soap makers, it will cause your soap to rice. So pay attention to that, all right? All right, so I will keep going. All right, the next one that I have is called Cozy Cabin. So Rob, you might like this one. Uh, Rob from Dapper Guru, he likes outdoorsy scents. All right, it is 50% pine, 25% cedarwood, and 25% amber. 
It is 50% pine, 25% cedar wood, and 25% amber. That's cozy cabin. All right. Now we're going to talk about a party, but not the kind of party that I'm talking about. I'm talking about a garden party. All right. So the next one is called garden party. It is 50% jasmine, 25% rose, and 25% lily of the valley. So remember, I gave those to you a little bit earlier as they should be in your staple collection. Garden party is 50% jasmine. 25% Rose and 25% Lily of the Valley. All right, the next one I have, it's kind of a little mix. This one's a little interesting to me. I'm gonna have to try this myself. Um, it is called Sweet Shop, Sweet Shop. It's 50% cotton candy, 50, uh, excuse me, 25% caramel and 25% vanilla. So very sweet. Oh, you are welcome, Prototype Sense. I love doing this, so uh, just keep watching because we do this every week. All right, so Sweet Shop is 50% cotton candy, 25% caramel, and 25% vanilla. All right, and I, I would think that, oh, I would, I would say what, what you said, uh, Rose, when I catch up. All right, uh, I would try that with pink sugar too. Oh, I know, Jayla, that caramel and vanilla. And Rob said he does like Cozy Cabin. And Rose over on YouTube said she has a blend called Garden Party. I promise I haven't been looking at your catalog. And Jayla said she loves caramel and vanilla. All right. Uh, oh, yes, ma'am, Courtney. She told me to repeat Sweet Shop. So hold on one moment. That was 50% cotton candy, 25% caramel, and 25% vanilla. All right, the next one I have is called Warm and Cozy. This is more, I'll give you a hint. It's kind of more of a masculine woodsy blend for those of us that are masculine scent lovers. It is 50% vanilla, 25% amber, 25% sandalwood. Warm and Cozy, 50% vanilla, 25% amber, and 25% sandalwood, all right? All right, let me make sure Courtney has caught up with me. And, and Keisha said that Sweet Shop is on my test list. Yes, same here. And Keisha, I would try, um, try it with pink sugar too, if you have pink sugar, because pink sugar and cotton candy are along the same lines. All right, and it looks like Courtney has caught up with me. So let me continue. And Instagram, y'all got to match YouTube because I have 10 people on YouTube tonight, which is my biggest ever for me. So I'm happy about that. All right. All right. So the next one I have is for, you know, you always have someone that says, I like something clean. So this one is called clean and fresh, clean and fresh. All right, it is 50% lemon, 25% eucalyptus, and 25% peppermint. Let me say it again, clean and fresh. 50% lemon, 25% eucalyptus, and 25% peppermint. All right, the next one I have is called Lavender Fields. 50% lavender. 25% chamomile and 25% yinglang. Lavender fields. Lavender is one of your staples you should have. So lavender fields repeating is 50% lavender, 25% chamomile and 25% ylang or e twice. All right. All right. I love tropical scents as well. So here is a tropical fruity one, and it's called Tropical Escape. Tropical Escape is 50% coconut, 25% banana, and 25% pineapple. All right, 50% coconut, 25% banana, and 25% pineapple. All right, 
All right, and it looks like Courtney is keeping up with me so far. So again, if I'm going too fast for you or you're looking for the suppliers, check the comments on YouTube, all right? All right, how's everybody feel so far? You, you, you getting them down? All right, I'm gonna keep going. So now we're gonna talk about something that is more sensual. All right, so we're gonna get into something that is sensual and it is actually called sensual amber, all right? All right, so it is 50% amber, 25% musk and 25% vanilla, sensual amber, 50% amber, 25% musk and 25% vanilla. All right, keep in mind that when you are blending oils, you want to start with a small amount of each oil and add more until it smells how you want it to smell. Try not to use too much of one oil because that can make that fragrance can overpower everything else. All right. All right. And in terms of saving your blends that you've worked so hard to come up with, right? Am I going to put them in the sun? No, no. You want to keep them in a cool, dark place. All right. So they stay potent longer. All right. All right. So that is the floral blends that I have. All right. Does anybody have any questions before I go to something else? I wanted to make sure that I put some florals in because last week we did not really cover anything floral and I did not realize that until I was going through doing the notes. All right. Let me jump over here real quick to YouTube to see what these characters are talking about. Oh, they're quiet tonight, so they've been working. And Rose, thank you. All right. All right, so now we're gonna talk about another one of my faves. Rob, you will probably like these. The Smoky Blends, Woohoo! All right, you all ready? These are going to be uh, more smoky in notes. And the very first one that I have is called Campfire. And campfire is 50% smoked oak, 25% mirth, and 25% frankincense. And again, if you don't necessarily want to use this in a candle, these would, um, these would make amazing room sprays or even wax melts. All right. So that was campfire, 50% smoked oak, 25% mirth, and 25% frankincense. All right, the next one I have is called Firewood, and it is also 50% oak, 25% uh, pine, excuse me, and 25% cedar wood. That's called Firewood, 50% oak, smoked oak, 25% pine, and 25% cedar wood. All right, all right, I don't see any questions on either one. All right, the next one, and I did not make this is not my name for this, by the way, is called barbecue. All right, it is really called barbecue. And it is 50% smoked oak, 25% mesquite, and 25% hickory. Oh, and let me tell you real quick what the fragrance nook said before I go over to the next one. She says, the smoky scents make great sash, sash, sashets, oh, I cannot pronounce that tonight, to store with your winter blankets, the way they smell good when you take them out for the winter season. All right, so keep that in mind. You always wanna talk about a gift, the little sachets, sachets or sachets, whatever they call them. Uh, that is a good idea to put them in your blankets. All right, all right. So Rob, you were definitely on my mind because you're representing the men tonight. Cigar is the next one. And this is actually a popular fragrance. Cigar, it is 50% tobacco, 25% vanilla, and 25% amber. All right, like a cigar bar, all right? 50% tobacco, 25% vanilla, and 25% amber. All right, let me make sure. Yep, Courtney is still with me. Uh, Rob, Courtney is looking up the uh, suppliers. 
because I have no idea where you get, his question was, where do you get smoked cedar? I have no idea, but you know what, Mr. Marshall, we're gonna find out. All right, and he said he loves smoky scents. So um, Courtney is tag teaming with me over on YouTube as I'm saying them. She is looking up the suppliers in real time and she's putting them in the comments over on YouTube. So uh, when you listen to the replay, which I hope you will, um, then you can see the supplier that goes with it, all right? Okay, and Rob, she said it's posted under your comment. All right. All right, so let me keep going. All right, still with the smoky blends. The next one is called Pipe Smoke. Mm, pipe Smoke. It is 50% tobacco, 25% whiskey, and 25% leather. So for those of us that struggle with leather, that's a good mix. All right. And uh, the fragrance nook said tobacco caramel would be nice. Crafter's Choice has it as well. All right. So tobacco caramel or tobacco. I'm going to try that tobacco caramel too. 25% whiskey and 25% leather. That's pipe smoke. So Rob, you got a whole line right here that I'm giving you, sir, Mr. Dapper Guru. Here's a whole line of room sprays for you. All right, the next one is called Pine Wood Smoke. Oh, see, 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 here she goes. I knew she was going to start up because she's giving the tea already. So the fragrance nook said pipe smoke blended with peppermint candy makes a great Santa blend for Christmas. So let me say it again. Pipe smoke blended with peppermint candy makes a great Santa blend for Christmas, all right? And pipe smoke was 50% tobacco, 25% whiskey, and 25% leather. All right, and Rob, you know you're quite welcome. All right, the next one I have, not to be confused with pipe smoke, is pine wood smoke, all right? So we all pretty much have figured out What's going to be the first ingredient is what? 50% smoked oak, 25% pine, and 25% cedar wood. That is pine wood smoke. 50% smoked oak, 25% pine, and 25% cedar wood. Not to be confused with the next one, cedar wood smoke, which is 50% smoked oak, 25% cedar wood and 25% amber. All right, cedar wood smoke is 50% smoked oak, 25% cedar wood and 25% amber. All right, the next one is called, we're going back to the barbecue again, but we're still outside. Mesquite smoke is 50% smoked oak, 25% mesquite and 25% hickory. All right, let me say that one more time. Mesquite smoke. So you see the theme here? All of them have smoked oak in them. And mesquite smoke is 50% smoked oak, 25% mesquite and 25% hickory. All right, let me pause there for just a second. All right, and Courtney is still keeping up with me on the suppliers. All right, and Jayla Boo, you still with me? All right, hickory smoke. Hickory smoke is still smoked oak, 50%, of course, 25% hickory and 25% pecan. All right, so hickory smoke is 50% smoked oak, 25% hickory and 25% pecan. All right, so we got all the little smoke uh, smoke things. So if you have an outdoor line or if you wanna do like a, maybe a summer line or something like that, oh, those would be good for Father's Day. I'm gonna give you a free suggestion. How about if you do room sprays or candles, you can do like a small sampler collection or something. All those um, would be good for that with Father's Day coming up. All right. 
Nicole and company, welcome, welcome. We are talking about blends, of course, and right now we are doing our smoky blends. All right. All right. So the next one is called wood smoke. So of course, you know, it is 50% smoked oak, right? 25% pine and 25% cedar wood. Wood smoke, 50% smoked oak, 25% pine and 25% cedar wood. And hang tight for me for one second. All right. Rose says over on YouTube, I wonder how that smoked oak, oak and lime essential oil would smell together, maybe with Tahitian vanilla. I love it. Smoked oak, lime essential oil, maybe with Tahitian vanilla. All right. And Nicole and company says, hello. I love smoky anything and I'm with you on that. So Nicole, if you want the um, notes that you hear going on over on YouTube, um, the the uh, YouTube name for the channel is Bubbles with a Z and Flames with a Z podcast. And all the notes are going to be down in the comments. All right. And there's also, uh, it should be a link uh, in my um, profile for the podcast. So you can hear all the things that we went over. Um, and uh, Courtney over on YouTube is putting the suppliers as well. As I say them, she's putting the suppliers in the comments as well. All right. So I still have more. Y'all want me to keep going or y'all want me to stop? You're quite welcome, Nicole, because I know it's a lot to keep up with. All right. I'm going to keep going because I got more. We haven't touched the surface yet. All right. The next one is camphor smoke, C-A-M-P-H-O-R smoke, all right? And it is 50% camphor, 25% smoked oak, and 25% pine. Nicole, I'm also a candle maker, and I know how hard it is to give information and get information. We do this every week. Just depends upon what topic we're talking about. So if you go back over on YouTube, this is actually episode 13 for me. And I appreciate the compliment. She, uh, what her her uh, compliment is, is she said thank you for that. Not many creators give that information, so no gatekeeping. All right. And uh, last week we gave out um, in um, different recipes as well that are uh, fruity and woodsy. That's what we did last week. So we just did floral, and we're on smoky now. All right. This particular, this next one, I like this one because of Jayla. She loves dragon's blood. If I, it's either dragon's blood she likes or blood orange or both, I couldn't remember. But this one is called dragon's blood smoke. And this one is 50% dragon's blood, 25% smoked oak and 25% mirth. Myrrh, sorry, I always say that wrong. All right, so dragon's blood smoke is 50% dragon's blood, 25% smoked oak, and 25% mirth. And then following that one up is called incense smoke. All right, so now we're kind of getting into the smoky stuff even more, which is 50% frankincense, 25% mirth, and 25% smoked oak. All right, and that is called incense smoke. All right. And this next one is for the one and only self-esteem queen herself, medicinal smoke. All right. Medicinal smoke. All right. And Jayla, I did send a shout out to you. Happy 420 belated since you were out of the country. All right. Medicinal smoke is 50% eucalyptus, 25% smoked oak, and 25% peppermint. All right. All right. Is everybody on YouTube still with me? All right. I had a couple of people drop, but that's okay. Hopefully they'll catch the replay. All right. And it looks like Courtney's still with me. All right. So we just talked about medicinal smoke and that one was 50% eucalyptus, 25% smoked oak and 25% peppermint. All right. So the next one, 
is called mystical smoke, mystical smoke, which is 50% smoked oak, 25% mirth, and 25% frankincense. All right. The next one that I have still in the smoky family is called oak moss smoke. And it is 50% oak moss, 25% smoked oak, and 25% amber. Oak moss smoke, 50% oak moss, 25% smoked oak, and 25% amber. All right. Palo Alto excuse me, Palo Santo. Palo Alto is actually in Cali. So sorry about that. And I've been there a couple of times, so I automatically say it. Palo Santo smoke, 50% Palo Santo, 25% smoked oak, and 25% mirth. All right. Repeating again, Palo Santo smoke, 50% Palo Santo, 25% smoked oak, and 25% mirth. So again, uh, for those of you that don't do room sprays, maybe you could do that in a wax melt. If you do room sprays, that would be these, I think the smoky scents would be good maybe in the car or something like, um, like uh, the fragrance Nook said earlier, refreshing blankets, anything like that. These smoky scents are good for that. So here is fruity and smoke combined, combined excuse me. This one's called raspberry smoke, raspberry smoke. And it is 50% raspberry, 25%. Sorry, I just hit the button by accident. 50% raspberry, 25% smoked oak, and 25% vanilla. Raspberry smoke. That one sounds pretty good. 50% raspberry, 25% smoked oak, and 25% vanilla. The fragrance nook, I have a question for you. Could I cheat and do raspberry vanilla 75% and 25% smoked oak? I think that one would be pretty cool. It's the same thing. It's just combined. Yes, I know it's cheating. All right. That was raspberry smoke. The next one is called sandalwood smoke. And she said, yes, I can do my cheat method. All right. Sandalwood smoke is 50% sandalwood, 25% smoked oak and 25% amber. Sandalwood smoke, 50% sandalwood, 25% smoked oak, and 25% amber. Rob, that might be good for soap too, especially for your line, that sandalwood smoke. All right, the next one is smoky vanilla. Smoky vanilla, which is 50% vanilla, 25% smoked oak and 25% amber. All right, and that is all the ones I have for smoky blends. How's everybody feeling? I know you all have been quiet uh, tonight because we have been talking. Let me catch up. Courtney, we'll find smoked oak because of course you know our go-to is the infamous fragrance nook. She knows where everything is. So if we can't find it, we can reach out to her. And speaking of which, before I forget, I am going to put her contact information in here. Definitely reach out to her because she does this for a living and she hasn't even gotten started yet. She is just warming up. All right. Because I usually give mine first and then she gives hers. How is everybody feeling right now? How's everybody feeling? All right, look, I'm going back and I am looking through my comments on YouTube and Rose has given one. She says, have you tried English rose, caramel, violet, and sandalwood? Let me say that again. English rose, caramel, violet, and sandalwood. All right, let me catch up with what Ms. Jayla said. She said, share this live with people. I appreciate that. All right. And yes, she loves anything citrus. I see you're going back and forth, Fragrance Nook. All right. And Courtney has found the dragon's blood. And then Jayla said, that's my type of smoke. I'm assuming she's talking about when I said medicinal. 
All right, and also we have another recipe. Hold on, let me catch up. Blood orange, plumera, lemongrass, neroli, and pink sugar. I'm gonna repeat that. Blood orange, plumera, lemongrass, neroli, and pink sugar. All right. Let me see. I saw something from Katie here, so bear with me. Okay, so Katie's still here. Katie, I can't wait for you to see your candle. So this is off topic. I'm going to get to see Katie tomorrow. Uh, Katie and Marcus are trainers that um, we all used to work together, and they are supporting me over here on this platform. Um, they're candle lovers, and they're just supporting me listening. But uh, I'm excited to see Katie tomorrow because I haven't seen her. And Katie, so let me give you a sneak peek um, that I wanted to share with everybody of one of your candles. I'm not showing the candle because I'm going to post it after you see it. But it is a day at the spa. This is from Candle Science. A day at the spa and clean linen. It has a very, very clean spa scent. I, I, I like that one. Katie, I might have to add that to the lineup. Again, a day at the spa and clean linen. All right. And Jayla said she loves Palo Santo. And hold on. Rose gave us Egyptian musk, rose, and vanilla. Egyptian musk, rose, and vanilla. And Courtney, do you remember which one I needed to repeat? Because I'm behind on my YouTube comments. It looks like she got it. All right. Katie says she's excited. And Rose, you might be able to answer this one. Who has the best Palo Santo? That is from Keisha. All right. How about over on YouTube? How are you all feeling about what you've heard so far? And I said YouTube, I meant Instagram, because I'm looking at YouTube, but I'm looking over physically at Instagram. Do you all want me to stop or do you all want me to keep going? Because those were just my scents that I looked at. We haven't even gotten into Courtney. We haven't even gotten to, to Rose. Abba, you're right. The day at the spa and, and um, clean linen, yes. It's actually good for cleaning, too. It leaves a really good scent. I threw it in a room spray just to see what it would smell like. All right. Rob has me into these room sprays now, and I'm loving it. All right. So I think it looks like I've caught up on everything on YouTube. So what about over on Instagram? So Jen Landry, thank you for joining. What we're talking about tonight are fragrance blends. And um, I am also broadcasting live on YouTube and, and my group in Facebook. And it's called Bubbles and Flames Podcast. If you pop over to YouTube, you can get the notes there. And uh, we have a young lady over there, Courtney, who helps me out. She is uh, looking up the suppliers for us, as I mentioned, the uh, recipes. All right. And we do this every Wednesday, so hopefully you'll come back. All right. So from the YouTube side, I got keep going. How about Instagram? It's 9 o'clock now, so I wanted to check and see what everybody's time looks like or else we might have to do part three. All right, so I'll wait for feedback from Instagram. All right, so I wanted to give some shout outs before everybody got out of here. First of all, thank you to everybody that is over on YouTube. I have 11 people watching me, which is, I know it doesn't sound like a lot of people, but that is the largest audience that I've had. And if you all don't mind subscribing and of course run up Run up the watch time for me. You got another 10 minutes? Okay, perfect. So we will go over to the fragrance nook. Is there anything that you wanted to add to this? All right, and we might have to go um, to part three because Courtney and Jayla both said the time went by really fast. Yes, and I it didn't help. I'm going to go exactly to my hour um, since I got started late due to technical difficulties, but I'm going to go for the full hour, but Rose has to uh, jump off and the fragrance nook, all right? So make sure that if you are interested in any of the blends that you heard, um, you can either reach out to me 
And oh, she says, for the floral and woodsy, you I would try, excuse me, for the floral and woodsy, I would add to try more raspberry. Okay, perfect. For that raspberry smoke or just in general? Oh, okay. And she also said, try adding Himalayan cedar wood to a smoky blend. All right. And she says, try more raspberry in general. That will kind of balance out that smoky. All right. So I want to say to everybody, because uh, I'm going to keep going, but please come back and catch the replay if you have to drop off. All right. Because we will have some more stuff out there. Uh, I may, since Jayla and Abba are on, go over some of the stuff we went over last week because I know I'm going to lose the fragrance nook here in a second. And also, I will put her information in the Instagram live and the YouTube live. Any of these blends. How about this? If you don't want to do it yourself, check her out. She does this for a living. She is a big part of why I'm doing this episode and I have so many blends. Those were actually the blends that I had. She didn't even get to chime in a lot this week, but she has several hundred, if not thousands of blends. This is what she does. And I don't know when her next class is coming up, but let's check out her class and see, here she goes. Lemongrass and raspberry as a base blend. You can add succulent strawberry to the base to make it a smoky sweet. All right, let me say that again. Lemon lemongrass and raspberry as a base blend. You can add succulent strawberry to the base to make a smoky sweet. All right, so if you don't want so much smoke, she gave you some fruit to kind of balance that out. All right, I'm loving it. All right, and Courtney has put in the notes the um cedar wood uh himalayan cedar wood all right and that's from wellington fragrance we always try to show love to our suppliers all right so before i leave the fragrance nook when you go over there tell her how you found her and that would be through moi of course all right because we're trying to keep track of how everybody finds out about everything all right for those of you who join me later let me show you one more time before everybody gets out of here for those that are going to drop off. I will post it tonight. I promise that I will. I already did it and have it ready to roll, but I changed my mind. I'm going to do a giveaway for the podcast channel. All right. But you have to be following the podcast channel. And yes, I can see if you're following me. All right. It helps if you're following on Instagram as well, because I do have a Bubbles and Flames podcast IG on Instagram and TikTok, all right? And if I look and you're following me on all three, you never know, I might throw in something extra for you. But here is going to be, and I'll show it to you Instagram in just a second. Here is the candle that I'm going to do on the giveaway. This particular candle is the first run and this is Jayla's candle, all right? And hopefully you all can get a good picture of that on YouTube and here it is on Instagram. Okay, can you all see that? All right, so that is the candle that I will be giving away. It has uh, a mango, patchouli, and pineapple smell. All right, Jayla, thank you for letting me borrow your candle again. All right, and also from the fragrance nook. Thank you, Abba. She said it's gorgeous. I appreciate it. Um, amber essential oil added to lavender 4042 is a good base blend. You can add that to violet, gardenia, or orange blossom. If you need to soften it with a powdery floral, add Spanish rosemary essential oil. All right, let me say that again. Amber essential oil added to lavender 4042 is a good base blend. You can add that to violet, gardenia, or orange blossom. If you need to soften it with a powdery floral, add Spanish rosemary oil, all right? And Keisha said, I need that candle in my life, all right? All right, so for those of you, it is 9.06. 
And for those of you that have to drop, I respect that. I want to be um, respectful of your time. Please catch the replay. For those of you that want to stay on, we'll do a remix, all right, to go over some of the stuff that we talked about last week, because I'm going to lose the fragrance nook here in just about a few minutes if she hasn't dropped already. I thank each and every one of you for coming. Don't forget to watch the replay, share the word to other candle makers, other soap makers, if body butters, skincare, etc. All right, I appreciate it. We do this every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. Eastern to 9. These episodes about fragrance blending are a little longer. All right, she says, I'm still here. You know I'm nosy. <laughs> All right, so before everybody gets out of here, because I see people are dropping, who wants to do part three? Because I still haven't even given you the exotic blends that I have. And of course, the fragrance nook, I don't know what she's going to give us. All right, and because Courtney's been working, she hasn't given us a lot of blends but we can do a part three if you want to if not so um rose says part three all right and the next one after we finish the fragrance blending we're going to talk about courtney said is that even a question okay so we're going to do part three and then after that let's talk about vessels and anything that you all want to talk about but let's have the conversation about vessels Good night, Mika. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. All right. All right. Keisha says, my husband is listening and he, oh, thank you, Mr. Keisha, Mr. Dunnington. I appreciate you. All right. He's, he always supports whatever we do. All right. And for those of you that are getting ready to drop on Instagram, uh, I appreciate you for pulling up and spread the word and share the replay for me. Share the word and share the giveaway because that'll get more people, I'm sure, <laughs> for a free candle. All right. And uh, the candle is Coco Soy, provided by yours truly, Maryland Wax Club. All right. And you said, yes, vessels, because I want to know your thoughts on frosted vessels versus these clear vessels. Ooh, that, okay. We can talk about that. I have a preference for me personally. All right. So we'll keep going. So let me give you all an overview of some of the things that we talked about. Um, I love cobalt blue. So let me give you over on Instagram what Rose asked me over here on YouTube. All right. Here is what she asked me. She says, uh, oh, yes, vessels, because I want to know your thoughts on frosted vessels versus clear vessels. And is there one preferred, is one more preferred than others? And how do you feel about cobalt blue vessels? All right. I am just now getting bold enough to do glass, as you could see, but you see it's still my trademark black. Black for me. I do have a clear that I use for my uh botanicals i've started using that so i've grown up a little bit even though maryland wax club is left she's like you should do glass because i typically do 10. and then i also do the white for um the marble and which you all haven't seen yet and the botanicals all right so that's my thoughts i absolutely love cobalt blue i have an idea that i want to try with that i may do that later this year with the cobalt blue. All right. So uh, thoughts on vessels? Oh, thank you, Keisha. Look at the growth. You know, I'm still nervous with the glass because wicking is a beast for me. All right. I just had that discussion with Courtney yesterday, as a matter of fact. All right. Are, okay. So let's talk about that because I'm not sure. Rose asked, are there any bamboo vessels? And if so, is that even a thing? There are wooden vessels out there. Um, I don't know about bamboo vessels, but what I will do is I will add that for my research on the vessels. So next week, we will have part three of the fragrance blending and hopefully more people will come. I will have it together. I will make sure that everything is ready to roll and we can start on time. And so you wanna talk about bamboo or wooden vessels and what's your options? 
I'm waiting for her to respond. Um, for anybody else, what about the different types of vessels that you want to talk about? Can you put that in the chat for me? She said, uh, oh, snap. Okay, education. I love it. I'm definitely looking forward to the vessel conversation. So episode 14 will be part three of fragrance blending. Episode 15 will be the vessels. All right. All right. So last week, did anybody go back besides myself and hello impeccable sense galore i love your name we are wrapping up for uh the fragrance blending conversation but you can catch the replay um with notes over on youtube at bubbles with the z and flames with the z podcast you can see all the notes for the suppliers or you can watch the instagram live when i post it you're welcome to hang out with us some people are dropping off um but right now we're talking about um fragrance blends a recap of last week and uh also we were talking about vessels all right and the fragrance nook over on instagram says i keep track of last week blends i kept track of last week blends as they were being given all right so she actually followed along in real time how many of you if anybody went back and watched the replay besides courtney and myself all right, because there were, what, Courtney, like between 50 and 75, if not more, of uh, blends that were given last week. Now we're going to add these for this week. And then um, Impeccable uh, Scent Galore, we are actually, I'm going to tag you in the replay if that's okay. Um, we actually are going to do this again next week. We're going to do part three, which will focus on uh, the exotic scents. Oh, pine scents with florals. Okay, I will make sure that you have the floor on that one. Because I'm not a floral person, but I'm willing to learn that. All right, so I got my notes so I can make sure I write that. All right, over in YouTube world. Oh, Courtney said she finished the spreadsheet this morning, so hint, hint. Um, we are going to share all the blends. We're trying to get it together on how we're going to share because it's going to be well, well over probably closer to 200. Um, she said we had over 90. All right. And the fragrance nook piggybacking her last comment shared another fragrance, Siberia fur needle, Siberia fur needle, pine needle, and alpine frost will be the focus of the conversation when she talks about using pine scents with floral all right so you know when she gets started i'm just the messenger because she she has her way all right and again check out and contact the fragrance nook and courtney said definitely close to 200 when all is said and done all right so over 200 fragrance blends that you can use for candles soaps room sprays etc all right, and let me repeat for, for Courtney, Siberia Fur Needle, Pine Needle, and Alpine Frost. So we're going to talk about exotic fragrances, and then the fragrance nook is going to talk about mixing pine scents with floral. All right, and yes, Rose, along with you, Courtney and Rob were killing it last week with the blends. Absolutely. All right. So it was a collaborative effort. So hopefully you'll be able to come back and join us next week. All right. So last week, let me tell you, if you didn't go back and watch the episode, you might want to. Uh, we talked about fruity scents and we talked about woodsy scents. All right. And again, uh, we have all of these blends typed up. Courtney is doing a spreadsheet, all right, so that we can keep track of everything with the suppliers, all right? So we are not gatekeeping the information. We're trying to get it together so that we can get this information out to everybody who asked for it, all right? And there's not going to be a charge for that, okay? All right. If you are interested, all right, in addition to the channel, I have a Facebook group that is called Bubbles and Flames Podcast Community. So that's the group over on Facebook. And we have a channel 
under my nuts about candle page if you want to know what the topic is going to be or whatever just send me a dm i can add you to the channel that's not a problem all right so you stay in the know because they find out what the topic is going to be for everybody that's in that group before i actually do the youtube so we have a lot going on oh jayla said last week was good She's sad she missed it live. Well, we missed you, Jayla, especially since it was on 420. All right, good night, Fragrance Nook. Thank you, and you know I'll be in touch. So again, if you're interested in any of the blends that you heard and taking uh, the blends subject deeper, uh, the Fragrance Nook does offer master classes and get in touch with her, and I will post the information in the details of the IG Live, and I will post it in uh, the, the notes for the show. All right. That way, get in touch with her and just tell her you saw it on this channel. All right. Or saw it with Tina. All right. Anybody that's out there, do you all have any questions about anything that we've talked about? To the ladies that pulled up via the fragrance nook, thank you for coming. I hope that you'll come back. All right. And impeccable sense, I will, of course, tag you on this live if you're still there. All right. So you can see it at your leisure. All right. How about my YouTube crew? All right, so for Jayla, we are glad that you're back this week. And Abba, we are also glad that, that you are back because we missed you both last week. All right, we have a couple more people that are working on things for Mother's Day, so they're MIA, but hopefully they will be back soon. Did you all have anything that you all wanted to talk about before we call it a night? Oh, thank you to Jayla and Abba. All right, all right. So with that, so Rob, before I close out for the evening, are you still with me? Yes, I'm glad you made it tonight too, Miss Keisha. All right, so Rob, I'm putting you on the spot, my dapper guru. All right, and what Rob focuses in his specialty is he focuses on the beard and he is doing a men's line if you wanna check him out. All right, so when are you coming out with the room spray line? Because uh, you got some good recipes there. All right, all right. So again, next week will be a focus on exotic fragrances and also with the pine, using pine scents with floral. So I'm interested about that one too. All right, so next week for part three episode 14 will be part three of the fragrance blending so tell all your friends that are in the soap candle skincare and etc world all right and then also after that we will talk about vessels definitely vessels i appreciate each and every one of you within the sound of my voice please share this so people watch the replay and run my watch time hours up and if possible now I only need four more subscribers so I can reach 50 so that I can go mobile because I would like to start going to events and visiting you all live, all right? And if you have anything you want posted on the channel, just uh, send me a DM and we can talk about it, all right? But that's all that I had this evening. Thank you all for bearing with me when we got started and have a wonderful, wonderful night and a amazing week and see you back right here next Wednesday, all right? Signing off. Good night. Good night, Instagram. Thanks again. All right. Does anybody have um, anything that you want to share? Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. I cut Instagram off, but YouTube's still going. Good night, Keisha. Good night, Rob. Good night, Jayla. Good night. <laughs> all right, see you all next week. All right, take care.